Kuba Al Qadra, the Green Dome, the Green Pearl of Medina Al Munawwara. It took its final shape during the reign of Sultan Mahmud II. The Golden Crescent on its top is a gift of Sultan Abdul Hamid II. And right under the Green Dome lies Hajra Al Saada, the sacred room where Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam resided and is now resting. This honorable household and its surroundings with its current state are divided into two parts as Haram and Salam. Hajra Al Mutahara, the pure room in which Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Hazrat Abu Bakr radhiyallahu anhu and Hazrat Umar radhiyallahu anhu are buried is a room without door or window. Bayt Al Saada was walled by Umar bin Abdul Aziz. It was built pentagonally lest it should resemble Kaaba Al Muazzama. It is still in this shape today. Mujahha Al Sharifa is the place where Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saluted. The silver plate on the door of Dauba, on which the names of the Ottoman sultans from Osman Ghazi to Sultan Ahmed the First are inscribed, is worthy of attention. The framed Hadith Al Sharif. In the corner overlooking Roda Al Mutahara gives us the message of an ethereal glad tiding. The area between my house and my member is one of the gardens of Jannah, and my member is upon Jannah. We are at the door of Hadrat Aisha Al Siddiqa. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to enter Masjid Al Nabawi and exit it through this door. The door of the Hajjud and Mihrab of the Hajjud. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to perform the Hajjud salah here. The Tahajjud Mihrab. Was last renovated during the reign of Sultan Abdul Majid. In 1980, it was completely tiled, causing it to be concealed. We are at the door of Hazrat Fatima. Today, this is the only door used for entrance. The caretakers at one time who entered through this door used to bow with great respect and ask for permission to enter by saying, "Dastur ya binta Rasulullah, with your permission, dear daughter of Rasulullah." Once we enter, we are met by the tomb of Hazrat Fatima. On the covering cloth is written, "This is the tomb of Hazrat Fatima." The transition door to the Haram section of Hajra Al Saada was especially made small so that people would enter bowing with respect. The Hajra Al Saada cover, Kiswa Al Saada, is hung on the pentagonal wall. Harun Al Rashid's mother was the first to hang a cover here. The green dome is located right above the Hajra Al Saada. We are heading towards south, Qibla direction, behind the railings of Muwajjaha Al Sharifa. On the Qibla wall hangs the covers inscribed with the names of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Hazrat Abu Bakr, and Hazrat Umar. In the direction of Roda Al Mutahara, the cover on which Kalima Tawhid is written indicates the alignment of the blessed head of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Through the small door, we exit to the salam section again, bowing with homage and respect.
surely Allah and His angels send blessings and greetings on the Holy Prophet. O believers, invoke blessings on him and salute him with a wordy salutation of peace abundantly and fervently. Surah Al-Ahzab, Ayah 56 The mihrab of Hadrat Fatima carries the memory of the place where Hadrat Fatima performed Salah. The Mameluk Sultan Ashraf Kayyid Bey had it built. Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent renewed it and Abdul Hamid Khan the Second decorated it with tiles. May Salat, salutations and salam, peace be upon our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Al family and Sahaba companions. Shukran.